said we are blessed with uh, a son. Uh, he's called Joshua. He's a wonderful young man. Very <laughs> up and about. Since one year. Uh, headed towards two years. So that that is a, a key milestone for us. And uh, we really, really bless God for that young man. So for B, she will have her say. One of the key highlights actually is her experience when we were having that baby. Uh, well, one of the things that we really trusted God for uh, was uh, uh, a safe birth. That is a, is a key aspect. And of course, having, being a, our first child, we didn't know how it would go. There are many, many stories we hear. Uh, CSS here, here every other time. We also hear complications here and there. So that was the uh, thing. For us, it really occupied our minds, and we are really trusting God that this thing will go well. Uh, and then, so we were really expectant, and uh, we didn't know how things will go. But what I would say is that uh, we had the most wonderful childbirth, I would ever say. Because as awkward, as, as rare as it may seem, she will tell you there was zero pain. Which is, to me, is a miracle. And for that, I bless God. And it was as simple as a five-minute affair. She was in, and she was out. There was no pain. So that was my highlight and something I we really bless God for. It was unheard of. Uh, I believe she said something we were trusting God for. So even when our peers were having CSs here and there, compl complications, ours was, we were telling people they could not understand. How? That in three minutes, in, out. So that was big <laughs> for us. <laughs> and we bless God till today. Uh, so that was for me personally, unless she has something else to turn be. Yeah, maybe to add, to add on that, we were really trusting God for a painless childbirth and a stress-free childbirth. And true to it, God is faithful. That's what happened. And I remember when, when the contractions began, I went to hospital. It was... What time was it? Around six in the morning. Yeah. yeah, we went to hospital. They checked whether I was ready. They told me, Madam, we are ready. The mm. dilation had gone up to only, I think it was two centimeters or three. So can I be, Madam, we are You come later. You come later. We are ready. So I was like, okay, let me go back home. I had not taken breakfast. So we went back home. I took breakfast. I. I wanted to relax and everything, but in Kambu, I send kulala, be active, tembea, tembea, so that when, by the time you're coming back, you'll be ready. So I went back home, but the contractions were very close. So when I got home, my mom called me, and then she asked me, how are you feeling? So I told her, I've gone to hospital, they've told me to go back home, I'll go back later. So she asked me, how far are the contractions? So I told her approximately about five minutes. And she told me, Beba bag, Rudy Hospitali. <laughs> so I told her, okay, I'm going back. So we finished taking our breakfast and we went back. When we reached at the gate, the nurse saw me and she was telling me, don't even come, go. We will get here when you me. And they were say, telling me the next dilation, the next time they can measure dilation is after, it was around four hours. Mm. So that was maybe around 10. So I just stayed in the compound. I never wanted to go far because my mama told me to go back to the hospital. I can't go back home. So I just hung around the hospital. We were talking. We were, we were just talking as we walked around because I never wanted to sit down. So the contractions were coming. They were on and off. Then so I started feeling, hey, I feel like the baby is coming. I felt the urge to push, so I went back and told the nurse, and yeah, when I feel, I would just check, do something. 
because it was not yet 10, I think that time it was around 9.30, 9.45. So I went back and requested her. So the one who was in the morning shift, alikuwa natoka, then ili wasubia na ingia. So, so kaniambia, you come, let me just check, although time haijafika badu. So I went in, they took me straight to the delivery room. I never went to the labor ward. So, wakisema acha nikupimia tu hapa, and then you can go. So they put me on the bed, they were testing the heart rate of the baby. So before she, she started testing, already the head of the baby was already there. She no, was not the ready. She had no gloves on. Yeah, alikuwa nakuja kupima heartbeat ya mtoto na apime. Apime dilation then, niambia enda utembe tembe. So, the first thing I found like ya mtoto, and she panicked. I can niambia don't push and everything. So she, she prepared herself. My bag was in the car. Nikaambia wa nitumanishie yendewe, so they brought it, because it had the baby's clothes and everything. So, it was brought and within a few seconds, okay, a few minutes, let me see, because they were going to measure the dilation at around 10. By 10.05, the baby was born. <laughs> and it was stress-free, it was painless, and for us, it was a miracle indeed. And we were so thankful, because what from the stories I'd had before, from the showers I had gone to, Hey, the advices people were being given. Zilikuwa zinanipea stress. People were giving horror stories. That time I'm expectant, but unasikia mtu mgini ya kiadvaisiwa, and you really, wow, what did I get myself into? And, but I bless God that he did it for us. Yeah. And our baby is fine, he's growing well. He has achieved every milestone in time or before time. There are, there are many children out there when you age met worker, but what he's doing right now, some children have not done so. That's also a highlight and we bless God so much.